I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not Friday, it's Saturday. But I was so busy editing yesterday, I didn't have time to post. Notes. I wanted to thank you for your responses, whether they be sticking your head out the door when I walk by and saying, hey, I'm just watching you, or emailing me, Skyping me, all of those fabulous family members out there that are now on Skype. Uh, yay, you! Well done. I was talking to somebody the other day about criticism or about our image or about how we promote ourselves in the world, what um, what we want to put out there, what we want people to know about ourselves. We want to be liked and, and appreciated. So we are always trying to put the best spin on the things that are us. We make the most of the things that we are proud of and we minimize the things that we are less proud of. And one of the things I notice as you get more astute and, and more uh, um, adept at uh, managing your self, your image, uh, the easier it is to not pay attention to the negative aspects of yourself uh, to downplay them in your head so that you think it's really not that bad. I know I go all the time, but it's really not that bad. And when anybody brings that up to you, it's a hot point. It, I think that's why negative, what the perceived negative criticism is more powerful than positive criticism but I'm not sure. I have a new camera. I just got it today, so I'm experimenting with uh, videoing from outside in public. <laughs> in this video, we're going to talk about editing. Editing in real life, not just editing movies, although part of my journey this year is to learn to edit movies. More and more, we have so much available to us in the world, the trick is choosing or editing or cutting out the superfluous and staying with the significant. I have too much crap in my life and it needs a good editing. What we choose to keep in, what we choose to throw away. We all edit all the time in terms of what we do and what we say and how we present ourselves. And it seems to me that editing is going to become the valued skill in our world because there is so much stuff, so much information, so many things. The trick is going to be choosing which stuff matters. And there are those of us who edit who we are uh, depending on who we're with. Do you ever edit yourself, Shyla? I've been thinking a lot about how we edit ourselves, how we edit our lives, how we choose which things to keep and which things to throw away, which things matter and which things don't, in our personalities, in our belongings, in the way we live our life, in what we choose to do. I wanted to talk about being your best self and being in the moment and being able to appreciate what is in your life. Putting our best foot forward means making notes. Editing yourself is about being the best you you can be. It's not about being phony, pretending to be someone else. It's about being you, only better. I'm not sure that I'm getting better. I'm certainly trying new things. I have a new camera. I have a new tripod. I'm paying attention to light. I'm making notes.